Good morning, Acadiana. I'm Kayla Lamano, your culture reporter, live from Delcom at the 72nd Delcom Shrimp Festival. And I'm joined today by one of the festival's organizers. Hello. Hello, good morning. Introduce yourself for us. Hi, my name's Elena Barra. All right, and what do you do with the festival? Um, anything they ask, pretty much. I'm, I'm the yes man. <laughs> um, right. This is only my second year being a member, but um, I like getting my hands dirty. There you go. All right, so tell us a little bit about tonight's festival. I know it's family night. What exactly does that mean? Absolutely. So we'll have our rides, our carnival rides going on and games, and then we have some great local entertainment tonight, um, starting with Junior Lacrosse. Then we have Dustin Sonye, a big name around here, and then we'll have national recording artist Dylan Carmichael all on our main stage tonight. Awesome. Tell me a little bit about getting into the festival. Are we going to be having a gate fee? What's it like? Yes, they'll have a gate fee. We'll have two different entrances on each side of the fairgrounds, and then once you get in, you'll be able to purchase a band for rides. And how much is that going to cost? Uh, it depends on your rides. Oh, all right. And tell me a little bit about the entertainment. I know we have the live music, but what else are people going to be expecting to see when they come tonight? Um, they'll be expect to see a whole lot of dancing. Delcom's not shy about their two-step. <laughs> and we'll have good food. Um, we like to say we're a festival by the people for the people, so all of our booths are run by volunteers. We have no outside vendors. Wow. So how many volunteers does it take to put on an event like this? <sighs> Too many to count. <laughs> um, we have a lot of our organizations in town as well helping us out as volunteers because we give back to those as a community. Um, our festival started as a fundraiser for the Delcom Fire, Volunteer Fire Department and we still give back to them as well as Delcom Athletics, Boys and Girls Club, several other organizations in town get money back from helping us out in the festival. Wow, so it has really grown over the years, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We start 72 years of giving back to our community. That's, that's all that really matters. We're not a festival looking to get famous or anything. We're just a festival looking to celebrate our community and give back. You may not be looking to get famous famous, but it looks like y'all are one of the biggest festivals around, huh? We actually got, um, this is our second year getting named Festival of the Year for District 2, so we're very honored to have that title, and we look forward to continuing to get that title. All right, well, that is great, and we will have more for you for the Del Delcom Shrimp Festival, um, and you can head over to my Facebook page to see some interviews with our little queens, if you're interested in that, or other Delcom Shrimp Festival content, or you can head over to KTC.com.